y'all get this bag, please. Relax. Me, I'm pregnant. I don't care. I'm f***ing pregnant. I will throw you in the f***ing Okay, you going to jail. That's why they're taking me through all this, because I got away, because that was the initial plan. The initial plan was for them to keep injecting me with rat poison, and I was supposed to be gone. That was the initial plan. Thieves usually think they can take what they want and make a quick run for it. But what happens when things don't turn out as planned and they're caught in the act? Here are seven of the most incredible cases of entitled thieves getting caught you will ever see. Starting with this woman, who on June 27, 2022, had attempted to cash a fraudulent check and then allegedly assaulted a bank employee after they discovered her alleged scam at Trust Bank in Atlanta, Georgia. A person inside the bank notified the Chambly police officers, and when they arrived, they found the woman, accompanied by her mother, attempting to exit the bank. No, it was not. I ain't touched that man. I did not touch that man. Uh, what's going on? He's he talking, he talking about I touched him, talking about my check is fraudulent and all that stuff like that. My check is not fraudulent. I ain't touch him. Hold on, don't Come on, talk. mama, let's go. No, 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 no. Stay, stay right here now. Hey. Tell me what tell me what happened. Hi, I'm the, my name is Sarah. I'm the branch manager here. Okay. Um, basically what happened, the check we confirmed is not a good check. Okay. We had to retain the check. She came in. How, how is the check a bad stop, check? Stop, stop, she stop. She came in yelling and screaming. My uh, FSS, your financial service specialist, tried to de-escalate the situation and let her know what's happening. She grabbed him. I did not. I did we not have, grab him. We, we have it on video camera and everything. I did not grab him, sir. I did we not. We have it video footage. Well, right now you're being detained. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. The officer questioned the branch manager, who told him that the check was indeed fraudulent and that the woman had grabbed a staff member in the back who tried to de-escalate the situation. Hearing this, the officer then proceeded to handcuff the woman, who still denied assaulting the employee and insisted that the check was valid. I think I've got one detained. Hold on, let me, let me see that. This I need to see. I'll need, to, I'll need the ID also. Hey, Robbie, back to service. Ma'am, can I see the ID? Okay, Ms. Brent. Ms. Brent, your, Brent your last name. Okay. Like, for real though, like, really? Um. Yep, when someone makes an allegation that there's been an assault and a bad check and been cashed, I'm going to investigate How it. How is it a bad but check? Right now, like, I, right work, now keep, I work for that. Right now, to keep everything from getting worse, you have been detained, I'll put you in the car, I'm going to investigate thoroughly. I work for and, that. And once I and once I find out, and if I find out that, there's, that you haven't committed a crime, I'll, I, I'll release you from the handcuffs. You. I haven't released but, I haven't. But for right now, you're being detained. After placing her into the police cruiser, the officer proceeded to question her mother, who surprisingly did not attempt to hide what really happened. Yeah, okay, what, what's, first, first of all, tell me what happened, what happened? All I know, he was working at a place in South Carolina. So when he come home, I picked him up at the bus station. He come to cash the check. And he gonna do some work while he ain't gonna go back. When I got here, they were saying, he waited so long, they were saying that this check was a scam. Mm -hmm. So he went on the inside to see what was going on. And he told him that the check was a scam. And then he grabbed him, one of the workers. Who grabbed one of the workers? Whatever. It's, it's, see, my son was born as a he, but I can't get, I'm confused with, he want to be a trans, trans van, you know how that is. Okay. So he, and what he got on here, Bria grabbed the one, that guy, the workers in there. Okay. And try to make him get his check back, and he told me he can't release the check because it was fraud. Now I'm trying to find out this company that he's supposed to be working for, and and I'm gonna call and see what's going on. Okay. All right. So he's gonna be in the cab. Well, I got I, I still I'm still gathering the facts. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I treat Bria. Can I talk to him? In in a second, not right okay. now. I'm gonna make sure I treat. I'm gonna treat everybody fair on this. I know that. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at the cameras. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna just listen to one person over the other. 
But based on what it was told to me, that's why Bree is detained right now. The mother explained that her daughter drove from South Carolina, where she worked at Hyatt Corporation, to cash the check, but didn't understand why it was coming back as bad. Nonetheless, she confirmed that her daughter did put her hands on the employee, leading the officer to look at the security footage. I got, too many, this. I got too many car key cases um, at the moment. It was just us in here, like, I don't wanted it to play with. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, you feel me? I'm clean. Pretty much. <laughs> no, my you man just wanted to handle the transaction. I'm in training. Like um, right there. No, when she let her know in the drive through like, that the checks were fraud, she was going to retain it because that's part of policy. She in turn said that she was going to come in. That's why the car's parked like that. I was gonna come, I came here to lock this door. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go lock that up, she had already made it in. She okay. came in to exchange words with my manager, saying, you know, hey, give me my check, give me my evidence, you know, just being irate. And then, you know, as I'm standing here, um, I was like, man, well, unfortunately, you know, my manager did her work on it, you can't get back your check. Um, that's when she in turn walks up on me and wants to, you know, grab my. Grab you by the time? Yes. That, that's some of us because I was kind of nervous. I don't know if I was taking photos with you. So, um, yeah, she, 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 she grabbed him. Um, just fill him out. I'm about to wait for her. She, um, What's that? <laughs> she grabbed him by the tie okay. and then kept trying to swing on him. Okay, so got simple battery. Um, the fraudulent check should. That's it? Uh, I, or this stuff. That's the, um, we have a copy of it. That's the part, top part of the check, yeah. Can you get it, get you us get the copy? Mm -hmm. Did we charge, charge uh, forgery on that one? Yeah. Forgery third degree, right, because it's over 1500 Yes. Is this her name? The license says Brent, but ain't changing. Gotcha. Yeah. Wild Dunes Resort. Why would she come up from Wild Dunes Resort? Mm, nope, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to ask her. Wait, you drove up from South Carolina from working at the resort? Yeah, and got your mailing address is Norbrass. Right. Hmm. Lucy, your custom screen is good. I'm to the vehicle too. After reviewing the surveillance footage, the detective on the scene confirmed the woman's physical altercation with the bank employee. However, suspecting that there might be a mistake with her identification, the detective decided to investigate further. Let's charge him with, uh... The simple battery? Yeah, let's look into that. Okay. Because the mom says she does work at a resort. Okay. And I'm wondering if they said it because the name is different, because of okay. being transgender or what. Okay. And then I'll let you know um, if you can go ahead and get the warrant afterwards. All right. All right. All right. I ain't going to get the warrant. It's yours. I mean, you, you can if you want. <laughs> okay, that's our, that's our detective. They're, they're going to look into the um, they're gonna look into the check more just to see. Yeah, what I work for that, sir. Can you yeah. let my mom speak with me, please? Sure, in, in just a second. I for that check. I'm not fraudulent. Listen, listen, we're not charging you with that yet. The only thing you're being charged right now with is a simple battery on the employee. I didn't swing on him. I didn't you, hit him. You touched him. That's the problem. You, you're grab, grabbing him by the by the, the tie in an insulting, provoking manner is an act of simple battery. Okay, so but can you it's write a, me a ticket and let me come to court, please? No, that's a, it's, a, it's a misdemeanor crime against a person. You gotta go to jail for that. You can't write a ticket for that. Can you let my mom speak with me? Yeah, well, in a second. All this while, the transgender woman refused to acknowledge her wrongdoings. And during the investigation, officers discovered that the name on the ID provided didn't match her real name. However, when advised to update her identification, the situation took an unexpected turn as she began to make unrelated and nonsensical statements. People make up fake IDs, people make up fake fake checks to defraud them for things like that. That's why they go through these I steps. I don't, not say, I'm, I'm not, not saying I'm not saying that's what you do. Doing. Work for my money. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but that's what ha that's why they have these steps in place, because people do do that. And you know, if it doesn't work, though, I don't I don't have no reason to be fraud. Okay, at all. but I'm just saying, that's they have these steps in place, and that's what's causing you to hold. I don't, I don't, I don't have no HIV. I don't have nothing. I don't have no HIV. No one said anything. AIDS. Nobody said anything about that. I don't have that. anything. I don't have no AIDS, no HIV, Real none of that. Nobody said anything about that's, that. And that's that's why they're taking me through all this because I got away because that was the initial plan. 
the initial plan was for them to keep injecting me with rat poison and I was supposed to be gone. That was the initial plan. Okay, and play it, play it like it was HIV. That was the initial plan and that's not, that's not, it didn't happen like that. So they're mad at me because I got away. Well, thank you. Here's, here's all I'm trying to tell you. If you need to update your license with your legal name, and if it's not, not your legal name, you got to change. You go through the legal process to change your name. Why did they start this process saying that I was fr it was fraudulent when I worked for that? They they got it because they got to protect their money too. People do do fraud them. People do uh, intentionally bring up bad checks. You know. But it's not me. I mean, they, out of all the people, they, like, they you guys watch me every day. What? You guys watch me every okay, me, day. Me, That's what, no, I'm saying. I don't, the I don't world watch. watch me every day. Okay. They know what I do. I don't they know what know you do. They know I go to work every I day. don't know what you do. They don't know what you do. You know, people, everybody none knows of us, me. None of us. Everybody knows me. I'm, I don't know you. <laughs> Sir. I don't know you. I'm, this is our first time meeting Cut each other. Chase. Come on. I don't, know, I don't know you, but I'm you keeping it very keep real. It real with me. Come on. I'm keeping it very real. I don't everybody, know you. Everybody knows me around the world. I don't they know you. They watch me every day. Okay, I don't watch you. I'm, I'm, and I don't know you. This is the first time I I'm meeting a, you. I have a whole TV show. Like, okay. seriously. I've never watched it. I'm sorry, but I've Stop. never watched it. Stop. Stop. Soon after, the detective emerged from the bank with information that would eventually determine the woman's fate. Thank you for everything. So, she explained to me on how they determine it with fraud. Yeah. So when they run the check through the system, right? If you are an employee, so like that one was AVP, Hyatt, whatever, then it should have every employee's name. It, no name, that name, her real name, nothing came back. Um, she said, and the phone numbers that were attached for that, that check come back disconnected. Mm -hmm. um, they tried to contact the actual company and nothing. So when they asked her, they was like, they actually tried to give her back the check, right? It was like, look, we're not, normally we would just keep it, but they tried to give her back the check, but they said she was already on 10, ready to fight. So it was like, well, look, who do you work for? If you tell us that, then, you know, we can contact them. And she refused to give up who she worked for. She refused to give up any information. She was just like, nah. And then that's when she attacked the boy. Okay. So... You got enough of the forgery charge in there? Yeah. Okay. So they'll explain that. I mean, because if they run it through the system and you, your account will come back right, then yeah. Okay. The transgender woman was later charged with third degree forgery and simple battery before being transferred to the DeKalb County Jail. But this is just the beginning of thieves being entitled, as you will see in our next shocking case. Sit. Take a seat. Take I a can't seat. Sit on the ground. Take a seat. Yes, you can. I'll stand right here. Take a seat. Take a seat. God damn, man. Take a seat. I'm gonna ask I, you to I sit can't down. Sit down on the ground. 50 years old, man. Seriously. On November 6, 2021, 50-year-old Kevin, alongside his wife and daughter, were visiting Disney Springs when they walked into the Oakley store. However, when Kevin began taking several pairs of designer sunglasses without paying, the Orange County Sheriff's Office was quickly notified. I got the guy right there. With the matching jacket. Go ahead. I'm trying to verify. Okay, it looks like him. Okay. You want to stop from that? Yeah, stop. Hi, I'm Danny. We're Disney Security. How are you yeah. today? Yeah. All right. So you guys were over to Oakley a little bit earlier, right? What's that? You were over to Oakley a little bit earlier? No. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. All right. When Kevin was confronted, he initially denied ever being in the store. However, little did he know that they had him all caught on camera. So this is the situation. We're only in contact with you because they have video surveillance of you from Oakley mm -hmm. um, for shoplifting, right? Okay. So that is why we're here. You okay. are being detained right now. You're not free to go Delta five. by any means. Oh, entry five. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to put down the bags. For the mean, in the meantime, okay. hang out for a few, all right? All right, down, motherfucker. 
Are you with anyone else? I know you're here on your honeymoon, so your wife is in the store as well? Uh, my wife and my daughter are running around here somewhere. Okay. What's up? They're going to be parking strawberries, so we're going to see a lot of guests. Sure. Just carrying everybody's bag. Got you. Central. Can you change our location of the world of Disney Store, please? After informing Kevin about the situation, his family was located, and we soon learned that he wasn't the only one in on it. Hi, ma'am. You have ID on you? Right here. Landing 51 from World of Disney. Do you have ID? I don't. How old are you? 20, 22. 22? <laughs> yeah, I just got here today. <laughs> okay. All right, ladies, I'm going to ask you to stand just right over there. Sir, just hang out real quick. My deputy's going to hang out with you guys for a few, all right? So, you guys are here because you guys were involved in shoplifting today, right? That's the whole reason that you're here. Um, you guys were observed in Oakley. Well, your daughter and your husband were observed in Oakley selecting items, concealing them, and not paying for them. That's why we're here. All right. Um, that being said, as far as it relates to Oakley, at this point in time, you weren't seen on video, so you are going to be released. You will be free to go. Um, Disney, which is separate from us, it's a separate entity, is trespassing you, right? So um, Danny is one of the security managers. He'll explain the process what about, there. What about them? What is my so concern? your daughter and your husband will be trespassed from all Disney property as well, and they will be going to the Orange County Jail today. How can I get in touch? How can I do it? So they will get booked in, they will get processed there, and they will be able to call you. Your husband's phone and wallet are going with him. Your daughter's wallet will be going with her. He'll be able to get numbers out of the phone and give you a call. All right? And they'll explain the process to him as far as posting bail for him so that he can get released and your daughter can get released. They'll explain that whole process to you. The officer explains to the mom that not only her husband, but their daughter had been seen stashing away the sunglasses. However, judging from the lack of shock or emotion on the mom's face, there's a high probability that she knew about it, but was lucky not to be caught on video. Shortly after, the suspect's bags were searched, but that's when Kevin and his daughter decided to act entitled. If you move from here again, I'm gonna put you to sit on the ground. Do you understand me? Sure. If you do that again, after that, I'm gonna ho I'm gonna hobble your feet. She just had back surgery, man. Stand over there, like I told you. Actually, no. Sit. Take a seat. Take a seat. Sit on the ground. Take a seat. Yes, you can. I'll stand right here. Take a seat. Take a seat. God damn, man. Take a seat. I'm gonna ask you to sit down. Sit down on the ground. 50 years old, man. Seriously. I'm sure that you're quite capable of doing that. I You're quite capable of moving around. Like walking around, okay. yeah. So stay here. Don't sure. move. Come on, man. Move. Do you have that hey. camera on? Yes, it is. Thank move God. again. I'm putting you on the ground. Do you understand me? Yeah. Am I clear with you? Yeah. Why Don't are you move again. Me, dude. I'm just checking on my kid. I'm not. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do okay. because you because you're refusing to obey our commands. I'm not refusing right? anything. I'm checking Stand on my here, kid. Stand here. Don't man. move. That's a command. Sure, dude. Don't do anything else. Walking there. That's disobeying oh. that. That's resisting. Okay. Do you understand? Me? Sure. It makes you feel better. Sure. Hi. Um, so the reason why my dad all oh, freaking out mad all that. Um, I have a record four years ago. I got drugs. My lawyer said if they done if they had done toxicology, I would have gotten off all of it, but they didn't do toxicology at the hospital. It got ruled as a concussion. Not anything else. But um I'm a first grade teacher. So that's the reason why I'm right now. if I get in trouble I'll lose my job. I got drugs. Yeah, and I just got back surgery. I can show you, show you my scars. I'm two in the back, one in the front. Okay, I don't. I'm not negating your back surgery or anything else. That's not the reason that we're. I know. That's just the reason why he's being rude. He's not helping me. That's the reason why. Like he just doesn't want me to lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. I didn't think I was carrying a bag. Okay. I just got here today. Like. Somehow, the daughter believed that being a teacher and acting friendly would let her avoid the consequences of her actions, but surprisingly, she didn't consider her reputation before deciding to engage in such a dumb act. After the search, police discovered over $1,400 in sunglasses and also other various items from other stores on Disney property. The duo were both trespassed and subsequently charged with felony grand theft. And just when you think entitled thieves end here, this next case shows up.
On May 4, 2023, Officer Perez with the St. Cloud Police Department in St. Cloud, Florida was dispatched to Walmart after a woman was seen pretending to pay for items in the self-checkout lane. The woman had then passed all points of sale and was attempting to exit through the entrance when she was stopped and escorted back to the Asset Protection Office. When the police officers arrived, the woman kept on acting suspiciously. <laughs> Stand up. I need you to stand up. Here. See the tablet? Put it down. All right, come on. Stand up and turn turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Can I get a cigarette? Would they say I could have a cigarette? Once we're done, yeah. Once we're doing what we have to do, I'll let, we'll let you get a cigarette. Come on. Well, can I get my other hearing aid for it, please? Let me find it, and then I'll I'll get it for you, okay? <laughs> That's funny. Ma'am, please sit in. Yeah, but I, have to I understand. It's just delaying the inevitable. Ma'am, please. Come on, the, the seat is up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get up, ma'am. You gotta get up. I know, I am. I'm okay. Not. Come on. There you go. Come on. Sit, sit the right way. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Watch your. Please, I have to do thing. Please, don't take me with my daughter. Please. You're fine. Just breathe. Just breathe, okay? I gotta breathe. Can I get a seat? I just like to breathe. Man, you're gonna fall. I gotta breathe. You're gonna fall. Okay. I have so anxiety. I'm gonna, you're fine. I'm gonna let you sit like this. I'm gonna buckle you in after. Just sit down and relax, okay? After being shown the surveillance video, the woman was arrested, and it became evident that she was going to be charged. However, once she was taken to the police cruiser, she decided to make matters worse for herself. I will toss in a cigarette. Don't throw it on the ground here. I got your, your bottle. I'll throw it in. I don't think you're allowed to leave cigarettes on I know. That's why I'm telling you not to toss it on the ground. Once there's a self-checkout lane, you can only expect stricter surveillance. In the end, she was charged with pettit theft and resisting, and later sentenced to six months probation. But what this woman did is just child's play compared to this next case. I just the cat! I just the cat! On March 6th, 2023, 24-year-old Jariah Terrell and 25-year-old Kanaya Williams, along with a third woman, stole over $5,000 worth of items from Ulta Beauty located in Milwaukee Avenue before fleeing in a 2018 Kia Optima. The Vernon Hills Police Department was notified and officers began to pursue the vehicle, but Terrell, the driver, refused to stop, resulting in a crash at the intersection of Route 60 and St. Mary's Road in Matwa. Get over here now. Get to me. Get to me right now. I will. Don't please don't shoot me. We're not going to shoot you. I don't trust you. Get over here. Well, I don't trust you not to run me over. Get the gas. I'm going to shoot you. No, please. Don't have no gun. Don't be safe. Please, don't get a gun. Wait, why are you scraping my car? Get out of the car. I just got the gas. Get the gas. You get your gas. I'm going to kill you. Got it? Get the gas. I got it. Get back up there, Dan. Get up there, Dan. The door. Open it. Then crawl across to me now. Crawl the car off. Turn it off. Turn the fing car off now. Turn the car off. Taser. Red taser, taser, taser. Oh, what the f? I have to go. I'm going to Get around. Get out of the fing car. Get out of the car right now. Get out. What the You see what happened to your friend? Because you waited? No, I was pushing the car. I got it. I got it. Matt, we need. 
When the police officers arrived on the scene, Jiraiya and Kania defied orders to exit the vehicle, with Jiraiya seated at the wheel, accelerating in an attempt to flee. This, of course, left the officers no choice but to use force to get them both out of the vehicle. Despite the third woman losing consciousness from the crash, both Kania and Jiraiya pretended to be completely clueless about what was going on. You're gonna stand right here and I'm gonna search you. Come on out. I'm gonna get a pat down. Uh, can I ask you something real fast? You're gonna stay right sure. here. All right, can I ask you something, Mr. James? Can what? You, can you grab my phone, man? <laughs> If we can find your phone. It's right there in that Gucci purse. You just had it in your head. You were just looking at it. Your friend is unconscious. I don't think your phone's your concern. Relax for a minute. No, my phone is my concern because I had to call my family. And that's not my friend. They came to get me okay. and she's going to tell me come to dinner with them people. Bitch, I don't even do nothing today. Okay, I copy. I'm first 20. Mr. James. Okay. Can you please grab my phone and my phone? We will look. We will, we will try and it's do right there. I just see you pick it up. <laughs> what happened? What do you mean? I'm saying, what, what the f is, what what do you mean? You guys crashed. Right here, I know. She was driving. She crashed the car. But I'm saying, what happened? What happened? You guys fled from Alta. From what? I'm trying to say she was driving. From who? You just trying to say she was driving? Just, just stay seated. Wait, did I say she was driving? Yeah. You're no, the other girl was driving. I wasn't. No, you were in the driver's seat. We got hit. No, I was. No, I was. No, I wasn't. I was never in the driver's seat. Stay seated. I never drive in the driver's seat. I was in the back of the seat. Stop. 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 It's just a phone and money. It's just a phone and money. They're all gonna have to get. Yeah. For the right yeah. I didn't get tased. No. Okay, sure. I didn't get tased. Sure. You weren't driving. Either. No, I wasn't even driving. Sure. Just, just stay get seated. Get away from the car. Yeah. Get her at least by the back. I know my, my finger is spun. Yeah, Look at me, I'm bleeding. I got hey, blood all over me. Your friend is almost dead right now. Okay. Let's go. Should we see her over by the fence? Based on how you're driving. I wasn't driving. Sure. At this point, Jiraiya denies that she was the driver when she had, in fact, just been pulled out of the driver's seat. Apparently, even her injuries did not make her feel remorseful about what she had just done, and she soon began to shift the blame to Kania. Hi, is she okay? <laughs> is she okay? No. It doesn't look like she's okay. She wasn't driving. Yes, she was. Brittany was driving. Brittany was driving the car. Can you do me a favor? Okay. Can you yeah. just take a seat for me? Yeah. I'm trying to make sure she's okay because she was driving the car. No, is that her? Okay, just take a seat. Okay. Take a is seat. Is that Brittany right there? Oh, no, that's not her. Where the other girl at? Where's the other girl at? Take a seat. That's who was driving. That's who I'm looking for. I, I don't know. I got here after. I'm like, where's the car? Where's the other car? Take a seat so you don't fall. I know, I'm trying. I'm busy. Can I, can I sit you down? Yep, yep, sit down. Yep. Sit down your butt, okay? Lean up against us. Scoot your butt. Do you have any health history? Any health problems? No. No? No diabetes? No. No high blood pressure? Nothing? No. Okay. I was in the passenger seat the whole time. I was asleep. And then I woke up and to the police being chased. Us being chased by the police. That's all. Okay. 
Alright. Oh, were you driving? No, I was not driving that car. I wasn't driving the whole I was never I, I wasn't I was not driving that car, I mean, I don't even have license. I was never driving that car. John, no. the reporter saw you in the driver's seat. Why do you think she was driving? No, she was driving. The other girl with the black coat on. I have the black coat too. It's right there in the front seat. I was never driving. I was not driving at all, sir. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, it happens on a daily basis. Can you get my phone, please? All right, we're going to stand you up. We're going to get you on this cot and lay you down, okay? I'm going to switch that. Here, Jiraiya was ready to do anything to exonerate herself from the situation, even if it meant implicating others wrongfully. Soon after, Jiraiya was taken to the hospital before being transported to the station where she was booked. However, Kania proved to be uncooperative when she got to the station. No, we're not. Sure. We're gonna be here all night, and I ain't doing no prints for some of y'all. Can't even tell me what the f going on. I've been asking you for two, three hours. Why am I here? I woke up, I was at it. All these guns out on me. So what's going on? What do you think you're gonna put? Because you know what you did. The videotape shows what you did. You know what happened today. So don't disrespect us like that. Okay? What am I being arrested for? I don't know yet. For retail theft. Under what charges? Retail theft. And when I say what charges, I mean. Re retail theft is the charge. That's the charge. That's the charge. So Correct. what's the case of the charge? From Malta. No. Misdemeanor felony was not even to me personally. I'm not talking about everybody else. Correct. Malta. Retail theft. That's what you're being called on. Right over here, my officer Fink. It'll take a minute and then we can put you back in that room. Have you eaten anything today? No. Um, okay. I'm going to Neville. Into the morning. No, we can't hold people on there overnight. Well, y'all don't hold me that because I'm not pushing my fingers to no print and I don't hold the f***ing one up. I was off two Xanax. If y'all understand that, I can't even tell nobody. What do you mean about two Xanax? You know how Xanax feel? I don't either because when I pop them, I don't feel shit. So with that being said, which one am I going in? Do I need to give this back to y'all and take my shirt and my bra or what? Because I'm not doing that without knowing what is going on. I swear well, to God, I'm not doing it. Well, yeah, we explained you what you're being called here for, right? You know me then for it. Hold me for it. That's fine, but I'm not fingerprinting for that. No. no you're, you're, not, not, you're not getting fingerprinted for charges. I'm right? not fingerprinting for mean people that I want to to me. I'm not doing it. it. It's not that you don't know. You cannot convince me, ma'am. Don't waste your breath. Okay. Okay. Then you're, you're going to sit here for a while and eventually they're going to force you to do it. It's Ain't nobody going to put their hands on me. Well, it, it's a fingerprint well, where you've got to be fingerprinted. I'm not doing that. Y'all might as well fight me now. It won't happen again. It won't happen now. Sure. Right. I'm not interested in fighting with you. So what you mean? What they gonna make me? You can't physically make me do shit that I'm not physically doing with my women. Look, I'm not interested in fighting with you tonight. I'm not interested. So in what room I'm going in? Cause I ain't fingerprint tonight. So what's up? Okay, we can try it again in the morning. You're gonna go back into um, room number four then. If she knew that she was innocent and had done nothing wrong, like she was saying, she would have wasted no time in providing her fingerprint. But it didn't take long before Kanaya realized the kind of trouble she was in and eventually decided to cooperate with the officers. Are you ready? Oh, you look ready to me. I, look, I, I like a criminal. You want to fight? I like no, a criminal. No, I don't want to fight. I want you to do your fingerprints. All right. Okay, right thumb. So just relax your hand. I'll do all the I'll do all the fingerprinting. Okay. I don't want it. It'll be quick. It'll be like five minutes. Ready? This is bad, man. Y'all don't understand. I'm fighting a lot of things in life. Oh, it's just not like that. Yeah, let me see. Your hands right? Huh? It was moist with the lotion, remember? Yeah. You might put a little more lotion on. Okay. It, it makes it work better. So. Just not not a lot, though. I'll just give you a little bit. Imagine this bread. I don't even know what that is. It's probably water for the people right here, you know? Oh, those rings feel good. I don't think there's any new rings. I'm always afraid if I put a ring on, it's gonna get like stuck. Man, I always get stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I, I know it's like a off though. Why does it like this? Okay, right four fingers. So just step back a little bit for me. I'll oh. sign this one real quick. Can you um, just shake that blanket out for me real quick? I just want to be sure whoever was in here before it, nothing got lost in here, but you're going to get, you know, like, yeah, like, no, 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 no. But if like, somebody, you know, the pain people or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then just flip the other side of that mattress so we can see the. All right, and we've got toilet paper in there just to double check. Come on. And then he's going to have a pump. I'll see if we 
taxpayers. After she was detained, Kania was charged with retail theft, obstructing identification, and resisting a peace officer, with her bond set to $350,000, while Jariah was charged with retail theft, aggravated fleeing, and resisting, and her bond was set at $400,000. But entitled thieves being exposed for who they really are doesn't end here. It gets even worse. Breathe. Take a breath. Wow! Are you kidding me? Stop! Look at that one again. This is 52-year-old Angela Baker, who on January 1st, 2021, spent some counterfeit money at a Walmart store in Palm Coast, Florida, and was immediately reported to the police. As the officers began interacting with her, they soon discovered this was not her only crime. So what's happening? Well, Walmart called them because they said that there was somebody passing fake bills. So that's why we're here. 40, 40, 60, 80, 60. And what is it supposed to, it's supposed to disappear? Yep. Here, do these ones, please. That's good. Uh, 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 no, uh, let's do it somewhere yellow. else. Those ones turn instantly brown. Wait Correct. a minute, hold on, no, that's... That's... Breathe, a minute, take a now. breath. Wow, are you f***ing me? Stop, look at that one again. I Pull it out and see if the line's in it, please. It's not. Wow. This one's yellow. I'm about to freak out, man. What the f***, man? I don't want my grandson to get in trouble, man. It, I would hold on to that. Oh. So you said you got these out of a teller or you no, got them from your grandson? No, from my grandson. Just gave me $200 for Christmas. Hold your bills, please. Uh, what now? What now? So there's eight bills, two that you had with you and six that came from the store. Yeah. So I'm gonna need your identification. It's over in the truck. Okay. So you said you got how many bills? Where you did these come from? 200 from my grandson. Okay, so how do you know whether it was this 200 it was right or? Because he had just get, it was right on top of my money. Okay. So how much is there? Oh, I spent $20. You have eight bills here. So you're missing forty dollars. If he gave you two hundred, and and if you believe that all of them are counterfeit, yeah. well, obviously they are. As the investigations wore on, she found out that she had more counterfeit money on her person, which she blamed on her grandson, claiming that it was his Christmas gift for her. However, this was only the beginning of her web of lies. What's gonna happen? It'll be documented. We'll okay. figure out if we're to pursue charges or not. What's your first name? Whitley. Spell it. Nelson. Whitley, W-H-I-T-L-E-I-G-H. Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N. Date of birth? 12 of 87. 12 of 87? Yes. You'll take your mask off for me? Yes. Okay. Where's the other female that you were with? Um, with the polka dotted pants? Probably seeing me where the cops are freaking out. And yeah. your grandson? What's his name? <laughs> oh my god. Really? Really? Yes. If that's who you're saying you got them from, I'm gonna document that that's what you're the information that you're telling me. Otherwise it's falsifying information. So and you're in possession of counterfeit Correct. Right. Oh my god. So supposed to do here? You're going to call, call your friend and have her bring your ID over here first of all. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't do that to my grandson. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys. What am I going to do? Do you have anything? You, what, what am I going to do? Do you have anything in your purse that has any your name on it or anything no, like that? No, I took everything out last night when we went to the beach. We went down to the beach and did Fireworks and uh, why would you take your identification out? Because what if something happened to my purse? What if you needed it? Do me a favor, take your mask off again. Okay. Oh, you got my pretty one. <laughs> Not only did Angela give them the wrong identification, but she also refused to name her supposed grandson, whom she blamed for the crime. This, of course, only made the officers extremely suspicious, and she was immediately detained for further investigation. I'm gonna 
Take off your hat and your sunglasses and your whistle. With my whistle. <laughs> but no ID. You don't take off your jacket, your hat and your glasses and your whistle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and there have you. Is, there she is, there she is. There she is right there, coming in. Okay, great. Okay. I'm gonna have you sign and print here. This is stating that I received two counterfeit bills from you. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna have to get it. She's not gonna be able to find it. She can't. She lost her keys five times this morning. Let me go dig in low, please. You can come with me. See, she's re dude. I'm telling you. I have to tell her. I have to talk to her. I have to dig for it. Everything right behind the seat, probably. Stay out of your purse. Okay, I'm looking Thank to you. maybe I had something in there. Okay. You already said everything was taken out, so stay out of your purse. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just wanted to do one. Uh, I understand right that, there. but I just said it to you not even 30 seconds ago. Okay. Cut. Well, maybe there was something left in there. We've already asked that question over no, right, here when I you were waiting, and, and you said you took there. everything out. Right, I did. Right. Okay, my little ID thing, but there might be something in there with my name on it. That's why I was looking. That's why we asked you over there. I know I don't have any identity. Motel receipt, something I didn't know. I was just gonna look. There's eight bills total, two of which were from you, and then six of which uh, happened in Walmart when you attempted to purchase something in sporting goods, right? Yeah. Okay. And those are all from you? What do you mean? All eight of the bills came from you? Yeah, to whether I, I it was the you store or whether you had them? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you're saying that the bills came from somewhere else, so where else did they come from? So where did those come from? My grandson. Okay. And what's your grandson's name? I don't know if I should say that. I don't know what to do. Even when she was questioned again, Angela stuck to her story and refused to come clean. Her deceptive behavior, however, led the officers to do what they should have done in the beginning. Please. All right, wait a minute. All right. How old are you? Listen, I'm fixing to have surgery next week. How old are you? Doctor's appointment. How old are you? I'm 33. Okay. So at 33 years old, you can make your own choices, which is why we're not, I mean, you don't need to talk to a bunch of people or get information or anything like that. I don't want to get any information. I just... Can I ask for advice on something? The crazy one. No. <laughs> that stupid as fuck. All right. All right. All right. Wait a minute. So wait let me minute. see. Um, put your hands wait, behind wait, your back. Wait, wait. Either way, put your hands behind your back. Susan. Susan. All right. I'll, I'll tell you, Susan. I'll tell you, Susan. Okay. Susan! Stop yelling. Yeah, You're in front of a business. We're yeah. not doing that. Okay. Hold so on. where is this okay. from? No, that's my money, too. Don't what? I You're in custody. Please don't go through my purse. Okay, you're in custody. But it's absolutely everything that can be your personal property that goes to jail with you. All right, well, she's going to take my purse, please. You, this please. is still going to get gone through. Ma'am, please. It, it'll go to jail with you then. It doesn't get released. Right, well, no, I would... Walk uh, this way? All right, can I just speak... Walk to this one? way. Yes, ma'am, I will, I will. Have a seat. A little yeah. easier if okay. you face me. All right. Now, my knees are messed up. Please don't push me. Okay, I'm fixing up, sir. I get permission to go through my purse. It's property. Please. It's going to go into the facility. Please, please. It I... gets gone through before it goes into the facility. Otherwise, you catch felony please? charges for anything that's not supposed to go into right. the facility. Ma'am, can I can you please give it to Susan? No, ma'am. Oh, listen. Because you had, there hasn't been any honesty with that. So if there's something... Then... Listen, I have... I will, I will tell you, but there's something... Okay, go ahead and put your foot in. We'll document that in a second. For some reason, Angela insisted that the officers shouldn't check her purse, but this only reinforced their suspicions that something was wrong, and we soon found out why when they decided to search her bag. This is the good money. Okay. Along with this small thing of this bought two fives together, this is in the outside pocket. This That's the kind of good money. is inside her purse. You want to test it? Yes. Yeah. here. I have a funny feeling.
That was just when I opened it, I saw the wad. So there may be more in there. That's just the middle compartment. Oh, look at that. It's a pretty big rock. That's not the name of anybody here. Hold on. Huh. That's her. That's her. So false identity. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's cash there. Is that real? I don't know, probably not. So that's her, though, because she's in position. So Correct. she can't have that. Fake. Fake. So that's 25 now? 23, 24, 25, yep. We actually are. We're on camera. Both of us have body cameras on. Yes, ma'am, we can to verify what it is. You're the one who gave us the wrong identity in the beginning. So, thank you. So the pills are written to the name she didn't give us. Oh, she gave us a fake name standing at the door. We didn't find the ID until I just had to look through her purse. Right. And it's on camera. Yep. If this test positive for something, I'm pretty sure the rest of this is going to Because that's broken off of that fake name. How in the crap? Notice the dark blue color. So, what's in your purse currently is your butane lighter, your real cash, along with the possible methamphetamine. During the search, the officers discovered that she had some more counterfeit money and methamphetamine in her bag, along with her ID, which only meant that she had given them false information. She was later charged with passing counterfeit money, possession of forged notes, giving a false name to an officer, and possession of methamphetamine. Although she pleaded not guilty, she was found guilty of all the charges and was given a 25-day jail sentence and three years of probation. However, a year later, her probation officer found her in possession of firearms and hard drugs, violating the conditions of probation. But thieves being entitled after being caught doesn't end here, as you'll see in our next case. Uh, Hell no, nah, get this bag, please. Relax. Me, I'm pregnant. I don't care. I'm f***ing pregnant. I will throw you in the Okay, you going to jail! On March 11th, 2022, a pregnant woman, along with her accomplice, was in a bed, bath, and body works shop in Miami when an employee discovered through a security camera that she was stealing Yankee candles and putting them in her bag and pants. Unknown to them, police officers had already been alerted and were waiting outside the store, ready to arrest them. I ain't want from you at all! Bati! Seventy one oh five, check with seventy one oh four if he's carry you. I got one in custody, it was after the other one. Bitch, I'm not lying about being yeah, put in sir. I'm okay, all right, just relax. She put it right there in green. I know what she did. Same thing you were doing. I did this sir, this is what I got. No, it's all go for. What happened? Now you're gonna say uh, Hell no, nah, get this bag, please. Relax. Me. I'm pregnant. I don't care. I'm f***ing pregnant. I will throw you in the f***ing grave. Okay, you going to jail. I'm, I'm pregnant, son. I'm f***ing. You made me lose my baby. I don't care. Oh, my God. I'm I'm I can tell you prove I'm pregnant. Please don't do that. On the ground. Please don't do that. On the ground. Like that. I'm on camera, so don't worry. Everything you're doing, we're on camera. Oh, I don't, I don't care about that. I'm talking about this hard ass phone. Okay, well then just relax. Okay, can't tell it. You need to come. I was doing the same thing. Just relax. Like I'm f***ing pregnant. I know I'm wrong. I ain't saying stealing. you're pregnant, but relax. I know I'm wrong for stealing, baby. But damn. But you need come to on, relax. Maybe lose my first child. You tripping? Sweetheart. This is my first baby, You did bro. what you did, so just I said relax. that and I just told you okay, that. Okay, then relax. I did what I okay, did, relax. but you still ain't gotta treat me like that. Then you need to just sit down no. and relax. You acting like I'm finna run from right. you. Did I try to run? When a police officer apprehended the pregnant woman, she chose to be entitled, using her pregnancy as an excuse when she clearly didn't consider it before carrying out the theft. Soon after, they were joined by another officer, but it didn't seem like the woman was ready to own up to her crimes. My rescue routine Sir, reference my uh, pregnant and my uh, female is pregnant. I, I just want to check it out. I was feeling this. That's in my bag, right? But I'm pregnant. 
All I asked for was could I stand up so my I'm getting fire rescue to check you out. I'm not, bro. I'm pregnant and I don't gotta lie. Okay. What I told him was I did steal this stuff. Huh? I couldn't hear you. Mati got the other one in the airport. Two. I, I stole this. You get what I'm saying? I took this. I know I was wrong. But I'm still pregnant. Baba, you got a knife? Would you want your wife? Your hey, you have a knife? On the a knife. Come on. I want to cut the bag. Regardless of what, you got to know how to deal with people. I didn't run at all, sir. I had this right here. I didn't try to run. Sweetheart. You get what I'm saying? Like I told you, I put you. He's talking to me. I'm talking to him nicely. I didn't but when I tell you put your hands behind your back, you didn't want to do that. No. It's real simple. Lying. Sweetheart, I got everything cut. Run it back. Run it back. It's on camera Run right now. We're live. I you told go. you I was going to put my hands behind my back. Stop lying. All right. Stop lying. From the way she reported the situation to the other man, it is evident that she believed that she had done nothing wrong. A while later, her accomplice, who had taken to her heels, was eventually located and immediately arrested. Yeah, um, by the way, that's an active airfield. That's a federal felony. So uh, keep on not talking. All right. Uh, keep, on uh, keep on not talking. It's all good. All right. Sit down. It's all good. All through the encounter, the young woman, like her counterpart, also proved to be entitled and uncooperative with the officers. Later on, the officers searched their car and discovered that not only did they steal about $3,700 worth of candles, but they also found other stolen goods from a different store in the same shopping plaza in their possession. They were subsequently transported to the station, where instead of being remorseful, they chose to discuss how they could have carried out the theft more smoothly. Like you see right there on that table? Uh-uh. At all. At all. Cause then, don't uh, use that against me, of course. At all. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just did we. Fuck. We should just went on. Okay, yeah, sister, that's the only reason I said just let me do that and there we go. Yeah, so I'm trying to walk it down. Don't try walking down. Well, you to throw it off, but I walked to the front to get bands. I actually, actually thought I, I was going to take a In the end, they were both charged with grand theft and sentenced to five years in probation. However, it didn't end there, as they both attempted to file an unlawful arrest lawsuit. But it's not just this duo who thought they could steal and get away with it, as is the case with Camilla and Engel. On April 21st, 2023, Camilla Montana and 21-year-old Engel Saavedra stole a bunch of items from Burlington, which they packed into two duffel bags and exited the store without checking out. Shortly after they left, the incident was reported to the police, and their car was later pulled over by a sheriff's deputy who had responded to the report of the theft, and they were immediately confronted. You want her to step out? Yeah. Okay. Sal del carro. The two of them. Both occupants, right? Yep. Okay. Señora, sal del carro. Okay. 
Even after they had been discovered, Engel decided that she would not go down so easily, which to her meant acting clueless. However, this did not stop the officers from arresting and escorting them into the police cruiser before confronting them again about the theft. Okay, what store she went to offer? Okay, tienda fuiste? Okay, tú, tú me dijiste que, que viniera de... Andábamos comprando, pero... Pero, ok, comprando en dónde? Andábamos comprando, recién habíamos salido. Pero, ¿cuáles fueron cuál, cuál fueron las tiendas que, que compraste? Andaba a buscar en TJ Max. ¿TJ Max? ¿TJ Max fue el único? Andaba eso buscando en TJ Max. Oh, tú estabas buscando TJ sí. Max, pero no... No, si compré, pero más abajo venía, había comprado en TJ Max. Sí. Okay, After being questioned again, Camilla continued pretending they had been to a TJ Maxx store, but when the police started searching their car, Engel quickly realized that their act wouldn't do any good and soon decided to confess. Did she tell us what store this is just TJ Maxx? That's it? So she said TJ Maxx, but we saw on the that it said Burlington Co. It didn't say anything about TJ Maxx, right? Maxx is, I think TJ Maxx is, I think right? she's just saying TJ Maxx, but it was really Burlington. Yes, the other female? Huh? Yes, the other female? Um, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you again. ¿Cuáles fueron las tiendas que venía de de dónde fuiste? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál fue la tienda? De Burlington. De Burlington. Okay. ¿Y qué otra tienda? ¿Berlincha fue la única? Ok. She said Burlington, and Burlington was the only store that they went to, and the other girl said the only store that they went to was, uh, th those are all Burlington tags. Burlington? Yeah, look. Right here, too. So this is what they were doing before we got in there. Here's another. That's Burlington. Those are all Burlington. Burlington. So. Some grand theft right here. Yes. Um, that I think this belongs to that. I'm not sure. They could probably. Interestingly, every item in their vehicle had Burlington tags, leaving no doubt that they had been at a Burlington store. Afterward, their details were reported to dispatch, but if you thought this was the case's climax, wait until you find out what else the officers discovered. Go ahead. Hey, I don't want those girls to hear me. Can those girls hear me? No, they can't. They cannot. They're both on the national. 
just notified me that they got federal alert lookouts on them. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. I'm good. Gotcha. Hi, bye. All right, so they're on a national FBI thing. They are? Yeah. During the search, the officers learned from dispatch that not only did they have a past record, but they were on the FBI national list, which means that this was not the first time they had committed an offense of such gravity. Soon after, they were both transported to the store where they stole the items, which were valued at about $1,200, and were returned. They were subsequently taken to the station and charged with felony grand theft and felony retail theft. If you enjoyed this video, check out this next one and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.